Tonight, we brought you the story of a Syrian boy who is now attending university against all odds. He was one of thousands who benefited from a billion dollar investment by a philanthropist here in the UAE. Well, I spoke to two of those students and the man who helped change their lives. This is part of our conversation. The situation was my dad couldn't find a job for two years. So me and my elder sister, we had to work instead because someone had to pay for our expenses. Sarah, what's your story? I've always wanted to become an engineer. Then lately, after discovering all the technological advances and stuff, and deciding that I want to be involved in the field of computer science, I applied to this university and here I am. This is a huge investment in the next generation. Why this and why now? If our nation needs to go to the next phase and to meet, to overcome its challenges, I think it's only through education we'll make it. What are your expectations from the students? I think um, I love the students. Uh, we have a, a great pool of students. We had 14,500 applicants. So this is really the best of the best in the Arab world and the UAE. I love their excitement, their determination, some of the background they've been through, like Saeed, and here he comes, you know, he's studying at uh, American University of Sharjah. This is great. Are you finding it tough? Uh, it is tough. It's, it's basically demanding, time demanding. What I really want to do, getting a high GPA, it's not for the sake of the grades. Basically, it's for the sake of knowledge. So how competitive was the process? One assumes you wanted the creme de la creme. We made it so easy because it was all internet based. And we have two criteria. You have to be academically advanced. And then second is we also, we want to make sure that he comes from the, you know, a low income family, people who, you know, never thought they can ever make it to a school. So you have to meet the two criteria. Once we selected the best of the academically achievement, and the most deserved candidate, then we do a Skype interview. We also need to make sure that their personality, their skill, their attitude to school, to people, to community fits. So How was that Skype interview? <laughs> cool, I really, really liked it. <laughs> Tell me, come on. The, the way she made me feel during the interview, it just made me always smiling and talking freely and without having to consider like okay who, who's watching me who's gonna see this <laughs> it's gonna be good for you and Saeed yeah I guess it was really friendly and easy going mm. yeah but you can like feel the tricky questions they are asking mm. it was challenging it is challenging <laughs> without making you yeah. feel inadequate in any way yeah. it's clear that this scholarship was incredibly important to you without it no I won't be here I cannot afford the expenses of such university. It's world-class university we are talking about. So the scholarship was the only solution for me. We know that the unemployment rates across this region are pretty dire. What are your hopes and aspirations going forward, given the opportunity that you've been given here? I would like to launch um, an organization that's mainly aiming at encouraging young especially females who are interested in pursuing their careers in the in the field of computer science and hopefully to employ people in 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 this uh, in this field in this field you so see, Becky, to kind this of is, solve this problem this is music somehow. to me we think it's uh, philanthropy is big businessman role you don't have to be a, a rich person to to be a philanthropist i would love to see thousand many philanthropy across the Arab world, everybody in their own, uh, you know, uh, scope of work. Mm. That is an inspiring example of philanthropy and how one person can make a very, very big difference. To